everybody, Joe Joseph here for TheDailySheeple.com, and this is your news shot. Well, my friends, the London Telegraph, I love it because they go woo sometimes, and they have a great piece. Elon Musk says, we'll create a city on Mars with a million inhabitants. Well, good for you, Elon Musk, and I hope that, uh, I hope that all those people that go, I'm certainly not going to be one of them, but I hope those people that go know what they're in for. City on Mars with a million inhabitants could be achieved Within 50 years, Sarah Napton, science editor, reports for The Telegraph. That's what the space entrepreneur Elon Musk is forecasted as he lays out his plans to turn mankind into a multiplanetary species. Oh, boy. Musk is already planning the first manned flight to, to Mars in 2023. I mean, this, is this not looking more like Total Recall? I mean, come on. And he says he wants to die on Mars. Also... Although he stipulated that's not on impact, of course. Now, under new plans released in the journal New Space, the billionaire says he hopes to build a Mars colonial fleet of more than 1,000 cargo ships, which could depart en masse, could transport 200 passengers at a time, along with the material to build homes, industrial plants, and shops. He estimates that the first colonia, uh, co- colonist pardon me, could begin setting out in a decade and said it would take between 40 and 100 years to ship enough people over to Mars to populate a city. Already, I'm not liking this. I think that there's two fundamental paths, he says. One path is we stay on Earth forever, and there will be some eventual extinction. The alternative is to become a space-bearing civilization and multiplanetary species. Okay, so... The Yes, we could have an extinction level event. As a matter of fact, you know, time uh, and history shows that there will be an extinction level event. It's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when. But I got to tell you, moving to Mars is probably an extinction level event, at least for those that live on Mars, only because of a lot of the studies that come out suggest that your cancer rate explodes once you leave the atmosphere of planet Earth. Because, you know, we were... Um, built for this planet. So while I applaud him for wanting to do this, I don't think the purpose of humanity is to travel in this way. I think it's certainly counterproductive to health. More importantly, I think we're putting the cart before the horse when it comes to embarking off this planet. And the reason why I say that is exactly that. The cosmic rays that the human body is subjected to when traveling uh, basically like an interstellar tortoise from Earth to wherever the hell it is that we want to go, you're going to end up having grapefruits out the side of your head from the the tumors that happen as a result of it. And of course, well, you could shield a a spaceship, but remember, shielding takes up weight and takes up uh, precious cargo space. So it's a balancing act, right? So... What if instead, if we were going to go down this road, that we start using our our geniuses out there to come up with a way, utilizing quantum physics, to travel interstellarly by just folding space in half? You know, why don't we work towards that instead of putt, 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 putt along through space, getting exposed to cosmic rays and all sorts of radiation only to die five years after you get there because you all have cancer yeah, or anything else. Not to mention the fact that we really, truly don't know that planet, that environment. That's not to say that we can't be pioneers. However, good grief, you'd want to have a little bit more information about the atmosphere, the weather, perhaps... uh, um, Weather patterns, is you know, is it going to be so bad? I mean, you're talking about building these structures out there that are going to be subjected to elements that you have no idea even exist. So, I mean, there's, there is a lot of unknowns there, and certainly I wouldn't want to be risking or betting my life on that. If he wants to do it, knock himself out. You know, you got billions of dollars, go to Mars. You can afford it. Me? I'm staying right here on planet Earth. And I'll take my chances with an extinction level event. And if that's the case, all I'm doing is going to the next level. I don't know what everybody's so afraid of. I'm Joe Joseph. This was the DailySheeple.com's news shot. Feel free to comment below and visit our website 
at thedailysheeple.com. Have a great day, everybody.